I'm just kind of getting things cleaned up a little bit in the shop, getting things organized. I've got some knives here. These knives are going to get wrapped up here this week and sent out. That's uh, Stephen B. Uh, well, Stephen B., you're going to take a little while because Stephen's got it. He's got a, I think you're the one with the leather sheath, right? I think you picked out a leather. Yeah, you got a leather sheath, pal. So every heat treat's already done, but I have to shape your scales, get them all glued up and everything. And then I got Kit. Good old kit, Earl. Your knife's almost ready, buddy. I'm gonna send that off to you. You're gonna get your Jasper before you get your kitchen knife. Because, uh, well, let me set you guys down. Oh, okay, let me grab the chair here. Yes, um, I have good news and bad news. Bad news is uh, I still haven't worked on anybody's kitchen knife, Santoku or Kiritsuki yet. That's Shane, Kit, Dex, James, and Alex, your boxes are still there, guys. That's the bad news. The good news is I have steel coming. Yes, finally. Um, I actually could have made somebody's knife, but I ended up having uh, two issues that, that interfered with everything. One, I didn't think I was gonna sell as many chef's knives, kitchen knives, as I did this year. So the steel that I did have in stock, I used up really quickly. Secondly, I had two other things come up. One was I was um, maybe a little neglectful in mentioning the previous video that you saw with Marcin and Paulina's knife. Yes, I forgot about that wedding gift and I didn't factor them into the whole equation on getting knives done because I didn't make them a box at the time. Oh, bad knife maker. Uh, second thing is too is I was working on Shane's knife and the steel, uh, it just the gremlins were haunting me that day and uh, it didn't work out very good. So I actually uh, just threw it off to the side. I had to start over again. So that's two knives that I didn't think would ha something would happen that did and it took away from other people. With that being said, I would have still had the three or four knives that I could not finish and I had to get more steel. And with 2020 being as it is, why not? Let's create some problems for the knife makers too. <laughs> But with all that said, I do have stainless steel coming. So yes, I am super happy at the making this video. It is being shipped to me. So as soon as I get uh, uh, Steve and uh, Kit, your Jasper's done, and I get I've got uh, four, five coyote pup, three no four coyote pups and a bush knife. I've got Robert, Mac, Travis, and Graham. <coughs> I got your guys' knives there. Plus I'm gonna make a coyote pup for myself. Uh, for the shop because I don't have one to, to show and display. So once those five knives are done, I will be starting kitchen knives. Yes, and then after all the kitchen knives, which will be about 45 or 50 days of straight kitchen knife work, uh, then I'll be working on all the orders that came in. Uh, oh, actually, no, then I, I'll have Mark P and James P because I, ha I have stainless steel coming. I'll have your guys' pups then being made. So 
yeah, I've got five, 10, 11, 12. I've got 12 knives to wrap up at the making this video. It's mid August, uh, 2020. And I've got 12 knives to make from now until uh, like that October-ish time. And then I have five, six, seven knives. So I have 19 knives between right now and December 1st. Got 19 knives. Hoy, oh, that was a big spiel right there, wasn't it? Well, getting off on a tangent because this is about Max's knife. Max bought himself a stabby thrusty pokey thing. That's right. It's the Warrior Poet Society stabby thrusty pokey thing. Um, I haven't seen a video about these other than when I first introduced this and I don't know if this was in the end of 2019 beginning of 2020 when I put that video out. Everything's such a blur but uh, I had the books closed on these for quite a while and then when I opened the books up I didn't promote it. I was too busy doing all the other things I've been doing in 2020, uh, like keeping my sanity. <laughs> but Max turned around. He wanted one of these, and he bought one. And so I'm going to hook it up to him. Max is a former Marine, and uh, we have a mutual acquaintance. Uh, so Mr. GQ himself, that you guys haven't seen in quite a long time. Yeah, old Tyler, he's off running around and trying to save the world and pretending to be a beach model and stuff. <laughs> Yes, I got you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I got, if you can't raz your fellow Marines, who can you raz, huh? Can't raz my wife. She's got too thick a skin now. She just rolls her eyes and walks away. <laughs> but Max picked out the uh, Warrior Poet Society STPT is what it's listed on the website for. But it's called the Stabby Thrusty Pokey thing. Uh, these are made out of D2 steel. And they only come in about an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter after I, I think I use an inch and a quarter material when I make these. Uh, they're about seven and a quarter, seven and a half inches long. Oh, let me see here. What was it again? These were, let's see here. This is uh, eh, just over seven and a half inches long. And it only comes in at an inch and just under a quarter total width. Uh, super cool. Really light knife. It's actually rather comfortable. I was surprised when we were first coming up with the design. Um, John and Evan had some ideas, and when they, when Evan sent me the ideas out, there were some things I had to make changes for practically, you know, for a practical reason, as well as utilitarian. And once this came back and Evan got his, he liked it, I like mine. Well, Max, you have number three. That's right. This is only the third Warrior Poet knife made so far. Um, and that's pretty cool. And that's something I really want to start promoting, you know, a lot, off, lot more often. Even if you buy a Coyote Works knife, you have to remember that I make each one by hand. Um, you know, my knives are made here in the shop, made in America. And it's no different than with any of these other knives. But when you have a knife, you have to remember that you might only have one of three, maybe one of 50, one of 100, maybe even only one of 1,000 knives. That's a lot. If you think about it, you might think, oh, well, these, you know, these guys all have the same knife as me. Well, number one, it's not I, the same knife because everything's made by hand, so there's always variations and differences in each knife, even if they are all of the same material and they look identical when you kind of just hold them off to the side. Each one, if you put micrometers and everything to them, they're going to have little differences and variations. But when it comes to a lot of the other knives I make, you literally will only have that one and there will never be another one like it, especially with different types of wood and scale material. And that's really kind of important. I really want to start focusing more on and at least remind you, the consumer, as well as the viewers, is the importance of having a very unique or one ofs or something that's been handmade by someone like myself or another knife maker or a painter or a sculptor, a carver, anybody. It might cost, a, you, know, so you might say, oh, it might cost a little bit of money, this and that, but remember, it's the only one, or it's a limited series. Unlike buying a knife that there's 10,000 of them made or something like that, or 50,000 of them made, that in and of itself, there's a lot of knives, but it's only 50,000 people that own that knife. Not bad. But I've made around 300 knives since I've started making knives. So if you have a Coyote Works knife, you're only one of maybe 100 people that have a Coyote Works knife. If you have a Stabby Thrusty Pokey thing, you're only one of three. If you have a Jasper, I might have only made, you know, 40 Jaspers or 30 Jaspers. You only have one of 40. That's awesome. So, so you really do have something that's important. You and I, we made it together. You went on the website, you spoke with me, you conversed through emails, and we designed your knife for you. So remember that remember that that you have your knife you have something you wanted and i was able to make that possible so i wanted to let you know that because i've had some people you know 
come to me with some other things. I'm not going to get too much into it, but you know, I think that that's kind of important too. But um, but Max, I do appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with this uh, this model in 2021. It'll probably be up on the website once in a while for sale. If you have an interest for one of these, you can always shoot me an email. Uh, but I will say now, I most likely will not be making any more of these for 2020 because, like I said, we're go getting towards the end of 2020. School is going to be starting. I've got Christmas orders to fulfill. Um, if I do have time, maybe I'll make some on the off time and then I'll just put them up on the website for sale uh, at that point but you got to kind of keep an eye on that but I know for 2021 I'll put them back out on the market uh, maybe make some changes to it or something like that maybe give you diff different varieties and handle material even that might be a good idea but right now they're only in canvas uh, olive drab and canvas uh, black that's the only two colors that we originally were going with uh, sheath is going to always be uh, it's always meant to be carried this way so it'll be a black kydex sheath and it will have the belt loops that you can carry it horizontally or possibly even vert uh, uh, vertically maybe on a backpack strap or something like that so that'll be up to you but uh, a lot of rambling a lot of information for a simple little knife but i do apologize and i do thank you all thank you very much for all the support and your patience um, guys like i said shane kit dex james alex I'm going to get your guys' kitchen knives going. Uh, Mark and James for your uh, Coyote Pups in stainless steel. I'll get them rocking and rolling as soon as that steel gets in here. I do have those five knives ahead of you all. Uh, once those five are done, I'm going to kick that off and uh, get ready to rock and roll on stainless steel, hopefully. Um, takes a little bit more time to do those. But anyhow, guys, again, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. You know, it keeps me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. The numbers are looking great, that's for sure. Business is looking good. Website's all stocked. Shirts, hats, uh, patches, all that stuff is really cool. And maybe in the next video, I might have some really cool information to share with you. You gotta keep an eye on that. Something about being made in America. I hinted to already in this video. But anyways, you all take it easy. Have a good one. We'll see you later.